Infantile spasms is a rare disorder that many parents don't recognize, and getting a diagnosis and treatment quickly is of the utmost importance. In this video, we'll show you what IS looks like, where to take your baby for diagnosis and treatment, and provide you with accurate and helpful resources. We did observe him having these um, jackknife uh, convulsions, what we thought, you know, his arms would raise up, his body would go forward, and his, his eyes kind of went blank. And it did scare us. Zachary would have a cluster of seizures that would last for a total of five minutes. He would have a seizure every five to 10 seconds during that period. She would tense up and stop doing what she was doing and her arms would fly above her head and her eyes would kind of stare off. And that would come in rapid succession in clusters of events like that. If a child's having infantile spasms, it doesn't look like such a big thing, you know, just little jerks. It, it just is not frightening, but yet the impact could not be greater. Because infantile spasms is so rare, pediatricians don't always know what it looks like. That's why it's important for your baby to be seen by a child neurologist, a doctor who has special training in diagnosing and treating IS. If infantile spasms is not properly diagnosed and treated aggressively, uh, the vast majority of patients will actually have a developmental delay and cognitive impairment. If we can diagnose it early, if we can treat it quickly, then we can give that child the best opportunity for the best quality of life now and in the future. For parents who suspect their child may be having infantile spasms, it's important to find accurate information about symptoms, treatments, and where to go for help. You can go to infantilespasmscenter.org and infantilespasmsinfo.org to get the facts you need to help your baby.